Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name's Caleb, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over the fields of Mars. This is my first video on Terra Money TV, so I wanna thank the team at Terra Money for having me on. I'm probably gonna be on here maybe once a month, giving various updates in regards to Terra DeFi. Today's video is gonna be going over the fields, the current strategies that are available, how to participate in them, and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna be giving some updates that might be coming pretty soon. As always, there's gonna be timestamps in the description for you to jump around to whatever part of the video you want, but without further ado, let's get started. Here I am on the newly launched Mars Protocol. Mars is a decentralized lending and borrowing market on Terra. They have their red bank up here, which is pretty much a money market. Right now, they don't have a lot of assets that you can deposit or borrow. They should have more fairly soon. And this is pretty cool, but we're gonna be talking about the fields of Mars. The fields is where other protocols can come and apply for credit lines from the red bank. Protocols can propose different strategies that will utilize borrowed funds. And then the Martian Council, the governance of Mars, can vote to decide if the strategies that the protocols are proposing should get credit lines from Mars. Right now, there are three different farms that you can participate in. These are all facilitated by Mars. There is the Mir UST LP, the Ank UST LP, and Luna UST LP. It's important to note that these are bull leveraged yield farms, meaning that you would probably only wanna participate in these if you think that the value of these assets will increase or stay the same in the future. These are not short farms. Mars has a decent amount of information right here. You can see for each one what you have to supply and what you will be borrowing. As of right now, you can only borrow UST in the fields of Mars. All of these strategies work the same way, they just require different assets. And this is pretty much how they work. Users can supply a certain token, in this example it's Astro, and then borrow UST from Mars. Hopefully, if all goes well, the value of their LP position will increase, along with the interest in whatever USD that they're borrowing. And then eventually when a user seeks to close their position, they can sell their entire LP that they have and then pay off their USD debt. So it's pretty simple, but it is not risk-free. The value of your LP position could drop, but your USD debt isn't really gonna go away. There are liquidations involved with Mars. If you supply an asset, borrow USD, and then pair those assets in a liquidity pool and the value of it drops, you could get liquidated. A liquidator could come along, take some of your asset, swap it to UST, and then repay the debt. This isn't risky for Mars because it's all controlled by smart contracts that will monitor a user's LTV ratio. As long as the price of your asset doesn't move against you, pretty much what you're doing here is just doubling the amount of LP rewards that you're farming. I got these graphics from Jose Macedo. You should go give him a follow. So that's just a brief overview of how these strategies work. If you want to actually farm any of them, all you have to do is get whichever asset you want to supply to a liquidity pool. Today I have some mirror tokens and then go over here and click farm. Then you will be able to supply whatever amount of tokens you want. You can type in the amount or you can just slide it up like this. And then you can actually choose if you want to supply any UST as well. You don't have to supply UST. You can just borrow an equal amount to whatever asset you supplied which would effectively give you 2x leverage. Or you could supply some UST and then lower your leverage. You can see your leverage down here. I'm not gonna be supplying any UST today. We can see the payable interest rate on the UST that you're borrowing. And then once you've figured out how many assets you wanna supply and how much UST you want to borrow, you can see your total APY down here, your leverage, and your liquidation price. I could get liquidated when the price of Mir goes below $1.19. And this is my starting LTV. Then. I can just click on farm. I'll have to sign a transaction in my wallet and that's pretty much it. Once I have entered a position, I can see my position's value up here, my estimated daily income, unrealized profit and loss, and more. I can also go to my station, scroll down to where it says fields of Mars, and then see all of my various positions down here, if I had multiple. If I wanna close my position or manage my LTV ratio, I can just click on manage and click on close position up here. That will pay back all of the UST that I borrowed and then I'll get my MIR tokens back. Or I can also supply more MIR tokens. I can also supply some UST as well. And that's pretty much how borrowing in the fields of Mars works as of right now. Because you're using leverage, I would advise you to make sure you know what you're doing before you participate in any of these strategies. Obviously, investing in DeFi, crypto, all that is pretty risky. The reason that I chose Mir UST today, even though the APY for Ank UST is higher, is because these strategies were pretty popular and the Ank UST LP hit its max deposit cap in about seven hours. 
The caps were just put in place to minimize protocol risk at launch, and the caps can be raised by the Martian Council. They can make a proposal and vote to increase the caps whenever they want. These are the initial caps for the strategies. Ank UST and Luna UST had a credit line cap of 5 million each, and Mir UST has a credit line cap of 2 million. Also a couple hours after the Ank UST farm reached its cap, the Luna UST farm also reached its capacity. So those ones are pretty popular. It would be nice if we could see the utilization right on the UI. Maybe I missed it. Maybe that's a feature that's going to be coming soon, but that's just why I used the Mir UST for today. If you wanna use these ones and you gotta be on the lookout, and wait for either the caps to be raised or for someone to remove their position. So there's really only one strategy that is available with the Fields of Mars right now that is leveraged yield farming. There are three different liquidity pools that you can participate in though when the capacities aren't filled, but there will be many, many more opportunities in the fields. Other potential use cases could be leveraged trading products like the kind that we have on Binance or FTX, insurance related products, metaverse lending tools, different arbitrage strategies, or even flash loans. I have a feeling that in the upcoming months, we're gonna see a lot of different strategies proposed and passed for the fields. Any team can propose to the Martian Council a smart contract system that wants to receive a virtual credit line. The first recommended step is posting a proposal in the Mars forum. This is just linked directly on Mars protocol. Scroll down to the bottom, the protocol and then forum. And then if the proposal gets approved, it can be implemented on Mars. So what are some protocols that might be looking to utilize Mars to get credit lines for their own strategies? Well, we got a little bit of a teaser from Mars and it looks like Alpha Finance and Spectrum Protocol might be interested. Alpha Finance is a protocol built on Ethereum, also Binance Smart Chain and Avalanche, that pioneered the concept of leverage yield farming and it is looking to scale to other chains. Most of you know what Spectrum Protocol is. It's a yield optimizer built on Terra. They have 60 plus vaults allowing users to auto compound their yield farms. Alpha's product, Homora version 2, will be looking to get a credit line so that their users can open up various leveraged farming positions. And it looks like we could see Alpha and Spectrum team up. Mars could provide the lending, Alpha could provide the leverage, and then Spectrum provides the ability to compound any rewards. So we don't know too, too much about this. As far as I know, they have yet to submit proposals, but this is probably coming in the near future. It also looks like Apollo Dow is eyeing up using Mars. They released their Apollo Dow roadmap, going over various things that they're working on. It's pretty interesting, you should read it. But one thing that caught my eye is that they are also looking to offer leverage yield farming utilizing Mars. And it looks like it's gonna work pretty much the same way that the farms on Mars work now. Apollo will take a credit line from Mars, allowing users to increase their potential returns. They said that right now they're building out the contracts to enable leverage yield farming on the Apollo vaults. Apollo Dow has lots of different options to choose from when it comes to yield farming and LP auto compounders. So it would be pretty cool if they integrated with Mars. And that's pretty much it for today. A little bit of a shorter video. Just wanted to go over the fields of Mars, what we have right now and what we can expect in the near future. Of course, I gotta say it, anytime you're working with leverage, you gotta be really careful there's always a possibility that you could get liquidated. So make sure that you ape responsibly. Also a little bit of a shameless self plug right here. We just went over the fields of Mars in today's video. If you want more of an in-depth video on how Mars works, you should check out my channel. It's called The Wealth Tip. I have lots of videos going over various protocols on Terra and various yield farming strategies that you can participate in. So check that out if you're interested, but I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, just give it a like, give it a comment. If you have any questions, just drop them down in the comments and either myself or maybe even another community member will get back to you. If you like videos like this, videos on DeFi in the Terra ecosystem, on general updates in the Terra ecosystem, then make sure that you subscribe to Terra Money TV and hit the bell icon so that you never miss another video. But that's pretty much it for today. Hope you liked the video and I hope you have a great week. Bye now.